Well, good day, everyone. Jason Hainsey once again from QPL Rural right here in Naranda and Tamora with another look around the Riverina or what's been happening with another edition of the Haines Report. Well, it was very good to see a little bit of rain this last week. Most areas received a little bit, but there was great variation. We're talking 6 to 12 millimetres in the south and numbers as high as 50 and 60 millimetres in the north. Hopefully you got some and was able to start the cropping season for this year. I know at Leeton and Griffith and places like that have certainly slowed up the cotton harvest. But when you're in a season like this, all amounts are greatly appreciated. Now this little bit of rain hasn't dampened the water markets this week. Allocation prices have continued to soar with prices climbing as high as $630 a megalitre in recent trades in the Murray Valley. Ongoing dry conditions and dry outlook and lack of water on the market has resulted in this steep increase in the last week. Now just remember that trade into the Murrumbidgee Valley closes at the end of April so anyone wishing to move water out of the Murrumbidgee has until just before midnight on the 30th of April to do so. Internal trade in the Murrumbidgee will continue up until the 31st of May. In livestock this week, well there was no sale at Wagga this week due to the public holidays, but there has been strong demand with, off the back of that rainfall in most areas. The Eastern Young Cattle Indicator now is sitting at 468.75 cents per kilo carcass weight. The National Trade Lamb Indicator, it's going up again this week, now sitting at 719, and the Mutton Job also an increase at 503. Now, I would expect this market to be strong again this week. Also, off the back of not having Wagga operating for the last week or so, this rain will mean that there will be feed in the next six weeks or so in some areas, which will mean that those restockers will be looking to step back into the market again. I think we've got a few strong weeks in front of us. In rural property this week, we will touch on Sandside again. This one closes on the 30th of April, so you do not have much time, but I would recommend an inspection on this property. It is a good, versatile block. It's got lighter country for feeding lambs on. It's got some heavier country, has produced an absolute power of medic in the past. It's also backed up with a significant amount of irrigation straight off the Yanko Creek. Now, situated halfway between Narendra and Gerildery, this is an absolutely ideal location for you to be running livestock in and out of this place as a finishing block, or indeed as an opportunity cropper or somewhere to produce some winter and summer forage off that irrigation. Sandside does have some absolutely lovely soils, but also a good machinery shed, three hay sheds, a good three-stand shearing shed with a big set of sheep yards there, cattle yards, a four-bedroom double brick homestead, and a second three-bedroom homestead as well. This property is very well equipped as a standalone operation and represents a very diverse and flexible property that you can move with the markets. As I said, Sandside Expressions of Interest will close on Tuesday the 30th of April, so please give me a call. We're still doing inspections right up to the last minute, so we're happy to take you out there and give you a look. Secondly this week, the Yanko Creek Aggregation. Now this is one that has grown an awful lot of feed in the past as an irrigated cropping operation. It's only about 12 kilometres out of Narendra and it comes in at 5,150 acres. Now this bloke has three lateral irrigators on it, some big laterals up to 700 acres. It's watered straight out of the Yanko Creek and also has a Zone 3 Lower Murrumbidgee bore, making the availability of water on this block very high. Now once again, the Yanko Creek aggregation would well suit somebody that's looking into mixed farming. It would also suit a horticulturalist, somebody that's into potatoes or almonds. There's some light country here covered by those laterals and you'd get an awful big area with good access to water which could make this a very productive, very profitable block. Also included in the aggregation is a good five stand shearing shed with a good set of steel sheep yards. In fact there's two sets of sheep yards and two sets of cattle yards and a three bedroom home on this block as well. Again, a good reliable block as a standalone operation, well worth your consideration and as I said only 12 kilometres out of Narendra. You can't go far wrong with this aggregation and as per previous, it will close on expressions of interest on the 24th of May. Lastly this week, next Saturday and Sunday, the 4th and 5th of May, will be the Tatakil Aussie White Conference. Please give Craig a ring on this one. It's a good opportunity for those looking to have a look at the breed, see where it's going. There's some very exciting things happening here and well worth your consideration. This will be a significant event and please give Craig a call and book yourself in because there'll be plenty of information there and plenty of opportunity to see these sheep perform. That's next weekend, the 4th and 5th of May. Now, as always, if you'd like any more information on any one of our properties here today or any other information, please feel free to give me a call at any time on 0488 594 450. I look forward to catching up with you all again next week. Cheers.